Yes. 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 I know I am super late to review this album, but like even after like three months, I just I just wanted to talk about this thing. Have I said this before? Well, it has been an amazing year for music, and speaking of that, I am going to talk about that end of the video, so stay tuned. But today's video is going to be my review of Little Ugly Mane's Volcanic Bird Enemy and The Voiced Concern. That sounds dark. And yes, in a way, this album is dark in a way, from the eeriness or off-putting production to the vocals from the rapper himself. The first track opens with this really well-arranged direction of this sample and piano. And all in together, it just makes a crazy-ass transformation from Little Ugly Mane's music if you compare it to his early work. You and Fly has a really catchy chorus. The devil said, dance with my daughter. I said I consider the offer. Styrofoam is the most disturbing song in the album from the creepy music. It's like Victorian area of creepy music. If everything was styrofoam, I wouldn't be alive. Jesus. The next two tracks I want to talk about that go after this track is Discard and Headboard. Discard is my favorite song in that album. It has this really beautiful beat to it, but like towards end of the song, you get like the most beautiful electronic piano melody I ever heard. Go hear the song. You, you know why. Then immediately transitions to Headboard and the, the beat in this song is fucking incredible. Guitar, the volume, the beat, it's marvelous. Little Ugly Mane's production was always like at a mad lib level. And while this album does have some highlights and good songs, there are some great albums that have amazing songs, but like between those gaps of the amazing songs, there's like good songs that make it bloated, which this album follows that formula, which it makes this album a bit long, a bit bloated. I feel like the runtime could be shorter. I think some songs could have been left out. However, this album just shows that he's way more than being talented. I did mention his vocals earlier. His voice sounds like he's fed up or hung over and try to record this album, trying to get sober, which doesn't make it a poor listen, but adds more to its appeal or just shows the hard effect of addiction. If I were to explain the way I feel about those good songs that go between the gaps of the amazing songs, it will feel like a photo taken before disaster. And not in a funny way. Closing track is probably the best track in my opinion. The beat is super incredible. The guitar works so fucking well with the vocals too. This song feels like everything is perfectly wrong. But in this last track, it seems like he acknowledges everything. There's no place to hide. And he's like, fuck it. Accepting it. Hearing this album is dark sometimes, amazing at times, a bit long too. However, those ideas are not wasted by a little ugly main of the direction he's going at, if that makes sense. Overall, this album is fucking well made. I'm giving this an incredible 8.5 on this album. And that is my review. So, so you're now here. Thanks for sticking along with me for these, for this amazing year. I think 2021 is probably my favorite year for music. Like so far, it has been an amazing ass year. Par off way better than last year. But next week, I'll probably do like four videos on albums I haven't reviewed, but I listened. My top 10 best songs of 2021. My top 10 best albums of 2021 and a favorite list of songs because I don't want to get my... I, I'm making two separate videos of the top 10 songs because I don't want my favorite songs to get in the way of the best songs of the year, if that makes sense. So opinion and then the truth, so I don't want to make that collide. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. I will be seeing you next week and have a good day. See ya. Look, let me catch my breath. Fuck, all that speaking. I'm out of shape.
Okay, I think 